September 7, 3.11pm, Detention Center Visitor's Room. Well, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Not you stinking lawyer, I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh with the fallen Miss May. Uh, no, no, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're, you're scaring the security guard. <clears throat> so, what is it you wish to ask of me then? Hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? Alright, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Here we are with the pleasant Miss May. We're here to get more evidence, I guess. So let's start talking to her, that man. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. <clears throat> can you tell me more? Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. Uh, no way! You'll, you'll say? Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. A wiretap? Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Ah, uh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. Uh, um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, hmm? Creep. This woman is impossible to talk to. Your attitude exactly. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it, bottom feeding scum sucking lawyer. Uh, but bottom? I, I, I can't help. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Hmm, that's pleasant. Alright. Shall we present her things? What if we present her testimony? Hey, guess what? Actually, I um, really hate your guts. So get lost because, well, I'm not cooperating. Oh, thanks, I noticed. That doesn't do anything at all. So get a move on then. Hmm. Let's go back to the officers, I guess. Aha, uh -huh, okay. September 7th, Faye and Co. Law Officers. Looks like Forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe is nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a walking over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. Suppose it can't hurt to take a look around though. That means there's nothing here to be found. Okay, let's go to the hotel then. September 7th, Gatewater Hotel, hot room 303. Ah, oh, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. Uh, no, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. Huh, a rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used the wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It'll be great for business, sir. Oh, whoa, whoa, uh, Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. But I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you're our honoured guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Okay, he is crazy. Is there anything else in the room? That screwdriver? Huh? There's still a screwdriver stuck in that drawer. Ah, please leave that as it is, sir. That's the drawer of terror, hiding place of the murderer's fire tap. It's set to become one of the most popular attractions here. This guy is serious. I don't believe it. Uh, yeah, neither do I, Felix. Neither do I. How about the plant? A vase, as expected. I'm not good with flowers. Okay, yes, he said that before. Okay. Is there... 
A bottle and two glasses rest on the table. Why hasn't he cleaned them up? Cleaned these up by now? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. But if you could please refrain from touching those. It's part of the decor, I call it the last drink before murder. We'll be famous. The talk of the hotel industry. Yep, he's gone crazy. Nice weather again today. I can see the fair and coal offices, of course. Ah, yes. We plan to install a telescope in that window, of course. Just five dollars will earn you three minutes of a view to kill. Um... Oh, just... Uh, sorry. Just, just kidding, sir. Oh, ho, ho. By that look in his eyes, I'll see he was more than serious. That would be even more creepy. Creepier. Let's talk about Miss May. About Miss May? Oh, her? Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'll do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. Yeah, he is kind of creepy. The man with Miss May. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo on that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. A photo? Hmm. I guess we'll have find a photo next time. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely, and on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Cave Water. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel, Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Uh, um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. What if you present things to him? Will he say anything? What if you present our badge? I'm sorry. All I could think about during the trial was the hotel. I wasn't paying much attention to the evidence. You have nothing. How about what did her testimony say? Uh, doesn't look like anything. I guess I'll move on then. Grossberg Law Officers. Oh, that painting's missing. September 7th, Grossberg Law Officers. Huh, looks like Grossberg is out today, again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Hmm, what makes you think that, Phoenix? Let's look at that. Examine. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah, yeah, it was a painting of... Wait, who... Who is... Wait, is he called Marvin Grossberg? I... What? Wait, give me a second. What's his name? No, it's not. Oh my. I thought his name was something else, so that, me that was his like ancestor or something, so that could have been possible, but no. I think it was a fisherman. Was it? Wasn't it? It wasn't a very memorable painting, anyhow. Hmm. That was funny. Right? Expensive looking mohag. Okay, yes, we've seen this before, I think. Yeah, we've seen this before. Okay, let's look at that picture there. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 Incident Exhibit A. DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. Um, Does that matter? Let's just look at A. Hmm. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one would miss just one little photo, and it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. Alright. Can we look at B now? Aha. A photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch up the one I took. Since the bellboy asked for a photo, I guess we should take the one of the murderer. Which we shouldn't know by we shouldn't be knowing, but haha. <laughs> There's a name for it in theatre, isn't it? Like, the audience knows what happened, but the characters don't. 
Let's just look at the plant. An expensive pot of plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. Yep, I think we've seen, we've examined the plant before, so let's go back to the hotel. Present him that photo. Come. I have a photo for you. Take a look at this photo. Hmm. That's him, detective. Uh, um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once, you know how it is. Uh, no, no I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss May, Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit, 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 is it? Swearing that that's him. An, an affidavit? This guy is way too excited about this. Yeah, sure, why not? Well, sure, why not? Yes, I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I'll be known as the bellboy who swore the... The affid of it. Oh, dang it, I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sure of it. Just hurry up and write it, please. Yes, thank you. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. That's great, I, I guess that's all the use we have for that photo. What if we present that photo to Miss May? You again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, hey, the only reason I'm back is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head, and he never does that. Hmm. What happens if I do this? Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times I'm not telling you. Where did you? Aha, a reaction. This is him, isn't it? Oh, what? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, no, that's not right. A nice try, Miss Cooperative. And do, do, do you have proof that it was him? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. Uh, yeah, okay, so present this. Could you have a look at this? Who was that? The bellboy is a fit of it. He told us everything he saw. He told us about the man you checked in with. He told us who he was. Now I'm getting somewhere. Push your heart, ease of fears. Why would we ease of fears? Let's just push your heart. This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb if indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this photo to the press. Oh, what? Even though he should be a witness to murder, this man is in hiding. I'm sure the press will have a field day with his reputation. <sighs> oh, fine, I'll talk. You, you, you win, lawyer. Yes, man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Oh, why are you pumping your fists in the air? Uh, huh, huh, huh. Now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of the information gathering conglomerate Blue Corp. Red White? Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call them a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder. Hmm. And I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. Hmm? It's okay. I'll, I'll just ask Mr. White my, himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Hmm. Mr. Red White. At last. Finally a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Quick. Discarded the bellboy's a fit of it. I can finally stop saying that. What? Will she talk now? No. Okay, let's go back and exchange the photos first, I guess. Alright, this is getting ridiculous. Where the heck is that loafer? All oh, the photos gone. Aham. Uh -huh. 
Ah, that old familiar clearing off the throat. Aha! You again? <clears throat> um, hello, Mr. Grusberg. <clears throat> well, well. You are quite the thing, my boy. Ex excuse me? The trial, the trial. You was there? Reminded me of myself when I was a youth. I guess something got passed down through me, uh, maybe? It brings back memories, it does. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Hmm. I apologize. Hmm? I, I... It was all a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today, I... Well, I... Hmm. I appreciate the r reminiscing, rem reminiscing, reminiscing, yes. But I'd r much rather you gave me some information. Alright, so he's back and the photo is gone. Dang it! So, today's trial. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me all night. All last night, you see, I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What? Why was that? Well, you see, it, it's just Mia's, Mia's sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. If you were that worried about it, why didn't you offer to defend her? Uh, yeah, exactly. I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. All right, Mr. Wright. No, no, I'm sorry. It's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. Hmm. He does seem troubled about something. Maybe I can find something that will inspire him to talk. That painting. The other day, I'm sure there was a big pretentious-looking painting on that wall. Pretentious-looking? Well, you you know the, the, the one I mean. Anyway, where'd it go? Ah, yes, well, I, I, I got rid of it, got quite tired of that, the thing, really. I, I uh, sold it, you see. Uh, yes, that's right. Sold it? I'm not sure I buy that. That pun, I spotted that pun, yes. Wasn't that painting rather important to you, sir? Did something happen? I, I don't see how it's any of your business. Please, speak no more of that course of painting. I, I didn't. I... Mm -hmm. Hmm, interesting. What happens if you present the photo we stole from him? To him? Excuse me, I was wondering about this photograph. Why don't you get that? Give it back at once! I'm sorry to have taken it without your knowledge, but, but I have to know who is this man. He was most likely in April May's room the night of the murder. What's that, you say? Are, are you quite sure, my boy? What has him so flustered, I wonder? I, I, I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. I need to be alone. Hmm? He's fallen silent as a stone, a rather large stone. I guess I should return that photo. Turn photograph to Mr. Grosberg. Yep. I guess there was no point to that, was there? Let's go to Blue Corp. Sounds fun. <laughs>